Glasheen Vias and Enderman Injury Lawyers have been great supporters of CMN, sponsoring our tote board for many, many years. And right now, they're going to match your donations for the next four minutes when you call 806-747-KIDS. A miracle match will double your pledge. Remember, Miracle Makers are spinning in our meadow. Your name is not only going on the ticker below on the screen, but also on a pinwheel here next to our tote board. I'm Chad Enderman of Glasheen Vias and Enderman Injury Lawyers. And I'm Pedro Leva, and today we're proud to present a $5,000 check to UMC Children's Hospital. I'm Jason Medina. We believe in giving back to the community, and this is one way we can help. We love helping our local kids through Children's Miracle Network. I come from a blue-collar background. My brother's a welder. My dad's a pipe fitter and hydro tester in the oil field. It's dangerous out there. We care about these people because these are our people. I think it's very important to stay rooted in the community that the clients come from. To be able to make the road safer, to be able to make the oil field a safer place for my family, for my friends, that's everything to me. You're more than just a client to us. We are Glasheen, Vias and Enderman, injury lawyers. Glasheen, Vias and Enderman have been huge supporters of CMN in the past and they continue to support us and we appreciate that. Now over the past several years, your support of CMN has made a big move possible. UMC Children's Hospital can now be found all in one spot on the main hospital campus. In this fantastic KCBD News Channel 11's Case Wilbanks got a look inside and a better understanding of how more miracles will happen there. Case? Karen and Abner, those miracles are now all happening in the East Tower. The past two years, we've shown you renderings of what UMC hoped this consolidated children's hospital would look like. From the care units to the child life areas to the Ronald McDonald House rooms, now we see it becoming a reality. Soon, UMC Children's Hospital will welcome its small patients into this new space. In the East Tower, now dedicated solely to the care of kids and moms. Hello. This is a project I think people have really had on their minds for like 10 years. Dr. Brian Payne is the chief medical officer at UMC Children's Hospital, which is now all under one roof and found on the four floors of the East Tower, mm -hmm. NICU, newborn care, the pediatric floor, and the operating rooms. All floors filled with specialized equipment and personnel with a passion to heal. So it really brings all the children into one location to do that. So all of our administrative staff, everyone here, it allows a lot more collaboration and really for our doctors to be focused on the kids here. Children's Miracle Network dollars have helped make this dream come true, renovating the building to serve children in a new and modern way. It means there's a lot more resources and ability and um, amenities for the families while they're here. Dr. Payne says there are more capabilities, new technology, and more space, both for hospital staff to do their work and families. Take a look at these pressurized rooms. Which pull the pressure out, and then um, it means that whenever they enter these rooms, if they're, if they're a regular patient, not sick with something like that, you can actually enter through the normal doors. But if they're sick, you actually have it to where you can get dressed and change and do everything here, but it keeps everyone else kind of safe and isolated. And whether sick or injured, children from around the region will get the care they need here in this state-of-the-art hospital. And there was a child that um, I diagnosed with a brain tumor. And I went down to see her in the cancer center, and you could see their excitement, their joy, the beauty in their life as they were able to get the care they needed. And while here in those tough times, they're going to find special areas to play and find joy. That we get them to a good place where they're able to heal, be with their families, and still be a child in every sense of the way. We have a playroom. We have all these other areas that really are meant to make this fun and engaging for children. And you can see that in the design, the pinwheels, the hills, the big skies, symbolizing a connection between the hospital and the miracle makers that built it. Well, it's really a tie between us, the community, the gifts they've given us to make this happen. Our community has donated consistently over a million dollars year after year to help us do projects like this to help make it so that families are comfortable, good, and receiving the most state-of-the-art care here in West Texas. So thank you. Case Wilbanks, KCBD News Channel 11. 
And here is Dr. Payne, Chief Medical Officer of UMC Children's Hospital. Thank you for being here. You must be so excited about having everything in that one tower now, everything together. Absolutely. I think, you know, the Children's Hospital really started back in the 1970s. And for us, it had been a part of the larger hospital. And for us to have the separation, to be able to have dedicated care just for kids in these spaces has been a, a, a project for many years but it's coming to fruition and Monday we moved into the unit you just saw in that video. How so. exciting. You know a lot of people when we're raising money they may think you know why, why do you need to raise money for a, a building and it wasn't really for the building it was for all the stuff in it but explain why environment really is so important like playground and other things for kids it's not just equipment that's part of the special services the environment. Absolutely. So the hospital does pay for all the building and all the walls and all those things. What CMN does is it makes it into the actual children's hospital. Right. All those pinwheels and all the you know movement that makes it to where it's friendly for children, that's what CMN makes it is that miracle part of, of the children's hospital. Well, as a doctor, is that important medicine to kids that they feel good where they are? Does with, it matter? With, without a doubt to me, kids need to come into the hospital and leave the hospital still being a child, not having anything taken away from that experience of having joy, happiness, seeing the beauty around you. And that's what not just the children's hospital that we're building or just really moved into on Monday makes a difference, but also why we want to have that playground. And so kids can come there, they can escape to the outside. Even if they are stuck on an ID pole, they have a safe place to be there and to still, you know, be able to see the sun, enjoy, run, maybe throw a ball, do other things that kids need to do to be a child. And this special playground costs a lot of money. They may think, well, surely it didn't cost that much for a playground, but everything costs more when you're talking about things that are medically right for kids. Absolutely, and I think the environment has to be safe for them. It has to be somewhere where you can bring their medical equipment, and it really is isolated where other people aren't just gonna be coming and going, but it's dedicated to those kids who are sick and for their families so that they can have a place to be outside and enjoy in those moments where they can escape. You've been here for 12 years. What are you most excited about seeing how it's grown so much? You know, I think seeing that the Children's Hospital is its own unique entity now. You know, you walk in and it's gonna be its own entrance. There's still a little bit of construction to make yeah. that entrance the way it's supposed to be. But it's amazing to me for families to walk in and know from the start, whether they're in our ER, whether they're gonna be in the hospital, that they are at a place that's dedicated just for kids and knows how to care for those kids in amazing and kind ways. You know, Dr. Payne is not just an amazing doctor, an expert in that area, but he's also the father of five, which I think that <laughs> makes you pretty special to have five kids of your own. Thank you so much for being with us and for doing so much for CMN. We're, we know that you're always a great supporter and that's important to us. Thank you, pleasure Thank to you. be here. Thank you.